Alright, we have Unit 2, so welcome everybody. We're going to cover 2.6, which will talk about um, identifying some impacts and how te technology affects us. <clears throat> I've been around the technology since the 70s, so if you have questions on, on how we ended up where we're at today, it would be um, fun to discuss at any time. Um, four attributes, do you remember them? We covered them. So, um, the connection to the internet through the ISP, eventually, internet service provider, when you go into the internet, that equipment that gets you in there and to move that information, data and information around in there, it has to go through somebody okay and later on you'll learn some of the issues of why that's really important to know okay and then they usually charge you for the pipe in there you usually get more coming down and less going up in most situations because you want to pull the content down to you and here going up you're just asking for it <clears throat> we talk about all those texting tweeting and so forth and more in the course later on, we'll talk about security of those and the impact of that. Uh, evaluate the information. Make sure of what you're getting. You understand what it is. You know, and how it was developed. For example, Wikipedia's, you know, when you use the web to pull information to you, like Wikipedia, remember, that's an accumulation of lots of people's, um, what they think it is. And, and it's, you know, they give their sources and so forth, but it's still that. Side note, um, not too long ago, women only made up 7% of the Wikipedia material. 93% of it came from males. I don't know what it is today, but that's what it was a few years ago. And then society, and how it affects our lives. <clears throat> Here we talked about that. The difference in the speeds, processing quickly, these are all parts of a second. Speeds, bandwidth, what you pay for from your ISP. And that's usually measured in bits per second. This is, and then what's interesting too, if we were to um, talk about paying, in some cases on your phone, you are paying by the quantity, right? You might have a uh, 10 gig plan. Now you're paying by how much. Here you're paying by the speed, how much you can move, so that the performance of your device looks good. And here you're paying for the quantity, how many that you're bringing down. <coughs> good to know. And we talked about reliability. Access, remember, we have the World Wide Web. And then we have, let's say, this is maybe NIAC. And it has, it has, has two connections. It has two connections to the ISP. It runs different traffic on each one. Okay. For example, the wireless goes on this one, and all the wired networks go on this one. <coughs> And we use, we use browsers to interpret information that we get from the World Wide Web. The web is actually managed by a small number, less than 10, Tier 1 service providers. <clears throat> More about that later on. And then we talked about all these ways of communicating. right and most of them use the internet if all but one basically that we list here so you should know excuse me you should know what those represent search tools you know it wouldn't hurt if you weren't you know real sure the first time you watched it you can watch this and there if you look on um, YouTube there are um, there are other videos by <clears throat> Google and other places on search. Content evaluation. 
we need to be very conscious of that. Okay. Utilities, we already covered that. Plugins, um, you know, adding things to the browser to do things. And you can find these. So there's some places will define them more specifically, but basically we're talking about the same kind of things, the same basic things. Fifth level, we want to worry about it. We can download files and you can upload files. You can bring them down to your device or send them up to somewhere else um, on the internet. And then web best based apps. Some of them are free, like Google Docs, and some of them you can pay a subscription, you know, so much per month. <coughs> Productivity Suite, we already talked about all those. Remember the difference down here though, you know, between proprietary and open source. Okay, that's important to understand nowadays. <coughs> and whether you're getting, you know, the suite stuff from the cloud, whether it's open source, you can change and adjust it, or whether you're paying somebody for it. These are open source. Office package. Um, when my son went to college, he bought a very cheap computer, and he loaded. Back then, it was called Star Office. So it was one one like this one. He loaded it on. Then at school, where he went to school, they had to you know send things in as Microsoft documents. This would just convert to a Microsoft document. Impact. I'm really not going to say much in this slide. Okay. What I want you to do here, I give you the instructions here, I'm not going to repeat those. Um, technology, technology has changed how we do a lot of things. How we do a lot of things. Um, for example, I'm using Explain Everything on an iPad to create this video. Okay? So there's one example there. Um, it's changed how I work. I manage a large amount of information in Google Docs. Now, there's security concerns. They gather information, but this has worked extremely well for me. Not only at NIAC, but I used to coach football and, and keeping track of everything in terms of all the coaches being able to see it and work together on the information that we needed, um, playbooks and all that. It worked really well. My son used it to you know, gather addresses for his wedding, you know, and, and distribute information. This is huge. You know, we've gone from, you know, in my life, checks, you know, to um, now we use cards to pay. And in later on, later on in the chapter, you'll, you'll learn about using your um, smartphone and devices to do transactions. Plus, the Businesses do a huge amount of transactions electronically. How we play. Well, gaming is big. On devices and so forth. And and there's lots of other things. You know, we you probably watch, maybe some of you watch movies using Netflix. Well, that's way different than when I grew up. <laughs> way different. I mean, we had TV where you went to the movie theater when I was young. <clears throat> this is really interesting. How we create. Are we more creative? Or are we less because technology helps us? I just was at uh, my son's and he was uh, going through the music and he said he could, you know, showed me how he could go and edit on this, um, on his i, on his uh, Apple computer, his Apple laptop, and he could take one of the singers, you know, and just slowly raise their tone or their pitch. He says, "Well, is that fair, you know, to adjust the music?" <clears throat> But it allows them to be way creative. This is huge, you know. We, we create so much now using um, digital devices, meaning, you know, ones and zeros, you know. And so with our, you know, with social media and uh, texting, tweeting and then <laughs> rather than face to face what do you think yeah it, it's what it's 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 way different and how does it affect us personally our um, personal lives and so forth and then last of all <clears throat>
security. There's such a huge amount of information, so you can define what's internet security. How secure is it? First of all, it all has to go through an ISP. So if an ISP was going to look at it, they could. Well, some of you will later on you say, well, we can encrypt it so the ISP can't read it. Well, that's true. Um, but how good is the encryption? And once it's in the internet, you know, that's there's no real restrictions inside there. Um, nobody monitors that inside there at the ISP. <clears throat> this is an excellent excellent this is an excellent um, podcast or excellent podcast yeah um, but it has some offensive language so make sure if you don't want to do that you don't want to listen to it you contact me. That is it.